Number 97, high RPMs, high RPMs. So on aircraft equipped with hydraulically operated constant speed propellers, all ignition and magneto checking is done with the propeller in which position? In the high RPM position, high RPM. Number 98, spider shaft oil seal spider shaft oil seal so oil leakage around the rear cone of a hydromatic propeller usually indicates a defective spider shaft oil seal spider shaft oil seal number 99 bearing blue color transfer bearing blue color transfer bearing blue color transfer so maximum taper contact between the crankshaft and the propeller hub is determined by using a bearing blue color transfer bearing blue color transfer maximum taper contact between the crankshaft and propeller hub is determined by using bearing blue color transfer number 100 the position of the tips of the propeller blades relative to each other. The position of the tips of the propeller blades relative to each other. So propeller blade tracking is the process of determining the positions of the tips of the propeller blades relative to each other. Proper blade tracking in the process of determining the positions of the tips of the propeller blades relative to each other. Number 101, to allow moisture which may collect between the tipping and the wood to escape, vent the tipping. To allow moisture that may collect between the tipping and the wood to escape, vent the tipping. So what is a basic purpose of three small holes number 60 drill in the tipping of wood propeller blades what is the basic purpose of the three small holes which you can fit a number 60 drill bit in there in the wood tipping of wood propeller blades to allow moisture which may collect between the tipping and the wood to escape which allow moisture that may collect between the tipping and the wood to escape. Number 102, placing shims between the inner flange and the propeller. Placing shims between the inner flange and the propeller. So fix the fixed pitch wooden propellers that have properly installed on the attachment bolts. Properly torqued exceeds the out of track allowance of 1 16th of an inch. The excessive out of track condition may be corrected by placing shims between the inner flange and the propeller. Once again, a fixed pitch wooden propeller that has been properly installed and the attachment bolts properly torqued down exceeds the out of track allowance by 1 16th of an inch. The excessive out of track condition may be corrected by placing shims between the inner flange and the propeller. Placing shims between the inner flange and the propeller. Number 103, part governor oil pressure from the cylinder of the propeller. Port governor oil pressure from the cylinder of the propeller. Port governor oil pressure from the cylinder of the propeller. So manually feathering a hydromechanical propeller means to port governor oil pressure from the cylinder to the propeller. Manually feathering hydromechanical propeller means to port governor oil pressure from the cylinder of the propeller. Number 104. Full increase low propeller blade pitch angle. Full increase low propeller blade pitch angle. In what position is the constant speed propeller 
control placed to check the magnetos. Let me say that again. In what position is the constant speed propeller control placed to check magnetos? It needs to be in the full increase and low propeller blade pitch angle. Full increase, low propeller blade pitch angle. Number 105. The propeller can only be installed in a given position. The propeller can only be installed in a given position. If a flange propeller shaft has dowel pins, the propeller can only be installed in a given position. If a flange propeller shaft has dowel pins, the propeller can only be installed in a given position. Number 106, it's a shank. Shank, so repairs of aluminum alloy adjustable pitch propellers are not permitted to be made on the propeller blade shank. On the shank. Repairs of aluminum alloy adjustable pitch propellers are not permitted to be made on the shank on the shank of the propeller blade. Shank. Number 107, cold straightening only. Cold straightening only. So which of the following methods is used to straighten a bent aluminum propeller blade? What is within repairable limits? That is within repairable limits. So you should be able to bend out a aluminum blade by cold straightening cold straightening all right as long as it's within repairable limits you should be able to straighten a bent aluminum propeller blade by cold straightening cold straightening number 108 eliminate stress and concentration points Eliminate stress and concentration points. So it is important that nicks in the aluminum alloy propeller blades be repaired as soon as possible in order to eliminate stress concentration points. Eliminate stress concentration points. It is important that nicks in the aluminum alloy propeller blades be repaired as soon as possible in order to eliminate stress concentration points. Number 109. Oh, nope, take a quiz and I'll see you soon.